Good afternoon and welcome to First United Methodist Church in Farmington, Michigan as we share our Thursday devotional at noon. The Upper Room devotional for today comes to us from Victoria Walsh of Montana. She begins with one of the most famous pieces of scripture known around the world and recognized by almost everyone comes from the Gospel according to Luke, the 10th chapter, verses 25 to 37. You will probably recognize it as the story of the Good Samaritan. On one occasion, an expert in the law stood up to test Jesus. Teacher, he asked, what must I do to inherit eternal life? What is written in the law, Jesus replied, and how do you read it? The expert replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. You have answered correctly, Jesus replied. Do this, and you will live. But the authority wanted to justify himself, so he asked Jesus, And who is my neighbor? In reply, Jesus said, A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho when he was attacked by robbers. They stripped him of his clothes, beat him, and went away, leaving him for dead. A priest happened to be going down the same road, and when he saw the man, he passed by on the other side. So too a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan, as he traveled, came where the man was, and when he saw him, he took pity upon him. He went to him and bandaged his wounds, pouring oil and wine on them. Then he put the man on his own donkey, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. The next day he took out two denarii and gave them to the innkeeper. Look after him, he said, and when I return, I will reimburse you for any extra expense that you may have. And Jesus says, which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of robbers? The expert in the law replied, the one who had mercy on him. And Jesus told him, go and do likewise. Virginia Woolf's reflection is entitled, None Forgotten. She says, it, was often, it has often intrigued me that Jesus commended a social outcast in his parable about the Good Samaritan. But until recently, I hadn't paid attention to the fact that of the ten lepers, the only one to return and thank Jesus for healing him was a Samaritan. See Luke chapter 17, verses 11 through 19. And the woman at the well to whom Jesus revealed himself as the Messiah was a Samaritan also. Refer to John chapter 4, verses 3 through 42. Virginia goes on, At one time I acutely felt on the outside of society, labeled and misunderstood. I saw no way to become more connected to other people. But Jesus Christ reached out and healed me. His living water quenched my thirst of body, mind, and soul. And he brought people into my life to whom I could be of service, which restored my dignity and allowed me to feel needed. Jesus always sees our true worth and lifts us up to that level. Jesus not only accepts those the world ignores, he often gives them special recognition and attention. No matter our status or circumstance, none of us is forgotten by Jesus. The prayer focus that Virginia suggests is 
those who feel excluded. And her thought for today is no one is an outcast in Jesus' eyes. As I think about what Victoria has written, I remember that the story of the Good Samaritan is one of my favorite citations in scripture. Also, as I said before, it is probably the most widely recognized part of our scripture. The phrase Good Samaritan is widely understood to mean someone who stops when he or she it, what he or she is doing to help someone else. It is important to remember that in Jesus' culture, especially in Jerusalem, Samaritans were outcasts and clearly considered less than, especially by Levites and priests who were the religious leaders of the temple. Still, this Samaritan is the one to whom Jesus points as following the law of the prophets, even as the leaders of the temple ignore the laws of scripture. We are called to do likewise. Hear now Victoria's prayer. Dear Lord, thank you for helping us when we feel forgotten by others. Help us to see our true worth. Amen. Amen.